Hey guys, it's Woody Mark here, coming with a brand new video, and unfortunately, I mucked up a little bit. Pretty much nothing saved. So I had to go, like, from the start of the cancer window, like, from the first episode, and I tried to fix what I could, but I made a few different changes. For instance, I didn't buy Schneiderlin, because I kind of knew... Rooney is still sold, he sold for 2 million less, so like that makes a difference. But the only difference so far is, I believe in the last episode we hadn't signed Quadrado. So what I did instead was I signed Shakiri. Yeah, you, you didn't see this one coming in the next episode, did you? No. And I didn't sign Schneidlin because I thought we got Fellaini, we got Andrew Herrera, and we've even got the likes of Carrick and that. And we could even put Yanazai up there kind of thing. But what, at the moment, we got Depay. I don't know if we officially signed him in the last episode, but we did this time. We got Pogba still, and unfortunately I couldn't make Massa go out for five months again. So we do have him back. We got Nkulu again as well. So pretty much it's the same, except Shakiri is in. Um, Schneiderlin isn't. And we are also going to be bidding... For, we have also, actually, this player here, a youngster, because at the moment we haven't got many strikers, so we're going to offer him that contract, four years, and then we're back to where we were the first game against Swansea. So, this is going to be the end of the live commentary, and I'm going to go back to into normal. I thought I had to do this bit live to kind of explain easier without the gameplay brushing. So, let's get into the game. And now we go into the first game. And again, I do apologise for everything that happened. I guess you have to save more manually now, as there's more of a risk that you're going to lose all of your data kind of thing. So, it's kind of for the best. I'm saving it a lot more regularly now. And to be fair, I only changed a few things. I didn't officially sign Quadrado, so I looked at it and potential why Shakiri was one less but price wise a lot less as well but apart from one more player who we're gonna sign um i've got his name but that's gonna be official pretty soon but bony on the ball scores down one nil and i forget how i'm manchester united not swansea because if you guys don't know i actually consider choosing swansea because i support both teams so whatever happens in this it's a win-win but unfortunately, the players that I put and played didn't really perform too well. I tried Dima and Cam, which to be honest did not work. Matters 10 times better. So if you're doing a Manchester United career mode, I'd say play Matter. Maybe on Ultimate Team matters better than Di Maria in the central role. Just fair control and overall better in general. So Di Maria on the left or right wing is 10 times better. But into Falcao, finesses it, and that looked very good, but it actually deflected in, so a bit lucky, Falcao makes it 1-0, but unfortunately, Van Persie is going to be our starter, like, after this game, he's going to be our starter from now on, but, again, I'm struggling to, like, all of these goals came from me not being able to clear the ball effectively, but I give up, it's like... GG, and that has to be the best goal I've seen from the computer score. I was kind of like, hold on, what am I supposed to do here? But I also played Rojo right back, um, left back, and Blind in midfield. So what I did is I played in the next few games. I played Blind left, Blind left back, which works pretty well, and I put Rojo centre back, which also works well. But the problem is. My defenders actually are quite small, but unfortunately we lose the first game 3-2, so... But if you look at the stats, they had three shots and two on target, so... I was their team, but in football, what was the score? 3-2. They win. End of story. You can't say anything else, can you? It's just the way it goes, so... Yep. But as you can see, changing the team around, we've got Shakiri right wing. We've got Massa in behind, Di Maria left. Um, we're playing for Laney this time, but Massa with the header already showing why I should put him in the starting eleven. I believe he did assist 
the goal for Van Persie in the last episode, though. So, yeah, maybe that was worth it, too. But you won matter with the goal. Very happy. But our defending is still very, very shaky. But the more games I play, I'm, I'm sure I'll be better. After the Swansea game, I was kind of thinking, do I need to change the difficulty? At the moment, I'm thinking no. But we'll see how things go, because we... We won't be playing against any good teams anytime soon, I do believe. But De Gea should have saved that. Like, he, if you get a good hand to it, as a high standard keeper, you should have the expectation of saving it, in my opinion. If it's fingertips or that, then yeah, I can understand. But if you get a decent hand to it, then you should save it full stop. But Mata shoots... And it was kind of a deflection. I guess it was going very wide. But it was like a minor deflection. If you look at it, he, show, he shoots. Uh, he, okay, he slid in. Okay, never mind then. But that is two goals to one. But if you guys watch my videos, you know what I'm best at. Um, I just score, then I concede. <laughs> that is pretty much what I do. But pretty bad defending by me. And he shoots, but puts it wide, actually. But corner kick. And, yeah. Manages to be an own goal again. So, I guess it's two, on go two own goals. So, I was kind of thinking, okay, don't be too hard on yourself. I guess what goes around comes around. But Van Persie on the ball into matter. Paul Pogba, hold it. And then I do um, one of those spinny things, I forgot what it's called. Scoop turn, that's it. But Paul Pogba scores to make it three goals to two. But he does have four star skills in this game, which is really nice, actually. But he's not the kind of player you'd think would have four star skills, just with his physique. I find when I play with a Barbo, <laughs> I'm going to find that the exact same. But again... Sunderland are on the ball. And to be fair, that is actually a great goal. There's not much I could have done apart from maybe put more pressure on the defender. Actually see the run, but I would have never have saw that coming. I don't know who defensively minded would have saw um, that happening potentially. But yeah, where it goes. But Dima on the ball gives it into Paul Pogba, into Van Persie. Down the line to Di Maria, but can I get there? No, I can't. But, again, like, it showed the highlights of the goal, like, once you take the throw. And I know online that's going to get very annoying, but um, single player is actually quite nice to see. But Fellaini on the ball, a bit of an angle, but he scores in the side netting. Now, I would argue that my positioning was quite terrible, actually. I will be the first one to fully admit that, but based on the finish, it was superb by Marilyn Fellaini. And I believe he's going to be an important player in my side because he's going to add that height to the side of his shrimp. He isn't going to be the greatest on the board, the greatest pastor, passer, but he's going to play well. But Mata on the ball. And then, nice piece of dribbling, shoots and scores. And I honestly believe Di Maria can do that. So that's why I'm saying that Mata... Is 100% better playing at camp. Put Di Maria on the wing. Get another winger. Get Shakiri or someone like that. Because even he's been playing really well. Um, <coughs> Shakiri. But Van Persie is on the ball. Outside of foot. Kind of like a FIFA 14 goal. I still don't know what a FIFA 15 goal is like. It seems to be kind of similar in some scenarios. A cross goal seems to work. But it seems balanced, I guess. But that is the end of the video. So hit the like button, say why and comments below, and do subscribe. If you want to see more career mode as this series is going to go on a little while, I hope. So, see you guys.